Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the coefficients of a fourth degree parabola. So here we have a fourth degree polynomial defined by y equals ax to the fourth plus bx to the third plus 2x minus 3, where a and b are unknown constants that we're trying to solve for. The other piece of information that we have is that the graph of this will pass through the points 1 comma 6 and 2 comma 81. So in order to determine these coefficients, what we can do is simply take these pieces of information and plug it in and see what we get. So plugging in 1, 6 tells us that 6 equals a times 1 plus b times 1 plus 2, minus 3. And we can clean this up a little bit by bringing over both these constants to the other side. So we get plus 3 becomes 9. Let's see here. 7 equals a plus b. Okay. That doesn't tell us enough to figure out what these are. So what we're going to do is take this piece of information and repeat the process. 2, comma, 81. So 81, which is the y-coordinate, is equal to a times 2 to the 4th, which is 16, plus b times 2 to the 3rd, which is 8, plus 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3. And again, we can simplify this a little bit. We get... 80 equals 16a plus 8b. So now we have these two equations here that form a system which we can use to determine a and b. Let's go ahead and write that over here. We have 7 equals a plus b. And we have 80 equals 16a plus 8b. Well, right off the bat, we can simplify this equation a little bit further by simply dividing through by 8. And what we get, 10 equals 2a plus b. Awesome. So now what we want to do is to isolate one of these two coefficients, either a or b. And we can do that by subtracting or adding one equation to or from the other. So here, we're going to take this equation and subtract from it this equation. So 10 minus 7 equals a plus b. What that gives us on the left hand, we have 3. 2a minus a is equal to a. And b minus b is 0. So here we know that a is equal to 3. And we can quickly take this value, plug it into either of our, any of our equations, and it should be able to tell us what b is equal to. And here we find that if this is 3, 7 equals 3 plus b, b must be 4. And there we have it. Now we have all of the coefficients of our fourth degree parabola. y is equal to 3x to the fourth plus 4x to the third, plus 2x minus 3. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to find the coefficients of a fourth degree parabola.